Hello guys, in this video, I am going to discuss a few logical reasoning questions that are asked in Amazon's LMAQ interview in this month. You are given two hour glasses, the one measures 4 minutes and the other one measures 7 minutes. How would you measure exactly 9 minutes using both? We all know that an hour glass is used to measure time period. It has a glass covering and has sand in it. It is called hour glass because the first one to be invented has been designed to measure a time period of 1 hour. But now it is being manufactured to measure different time periods. The question is how would you measure exactly 9 minutes using both 4 minute and 7 minute timers. I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it on your own. When we start both the timers together, by the end of 4 minutes timer, there are still 3 minutes left in the 7 minutes timer. Turn this 4 minutes timer upside down along with these 3 minutes. By the time these 3 minutes finishes, there is still 1 minute left in the 4 minutes timer. As there are no minutes left in the 7 minutes timer, turn the 7 minutes timer upside down along with this 1 minute. By the time this 1 minute finishes, there are still 6 minutes left in the 7 minutes timer. When you observe this, this cycle took 4 minutes, this cycle took 3 minutes and this cycle took 1 minute. When you observe this step keenly, imagine there, there are still 6 minutes left in this timer. That means sand that takes 6 minutes is this side and the 1 minute is here. So when you turn this upside down, it takes 1 minute for this sand to come down. So all together 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 9 minutes. 4 friends A, B, C and D need to cross a bridge. A maximum of 2 persons can cross it at a time. Let's assume that here is a bridge. It is night and they just have one lamp. Persons that cross the bridge must carry the lamp to find a way. A pair must walk together at the speed of a slower person. To cross the bridge, the time taken by them is as follows. So the question is, what is the least time that they take to cross the bridge? First, A along with B crosses the bridge and A returns back. This entire process takes 3 minutes as A and B go at a pace of B which is 2 minutes and A returns back at his own pace which is 1 minute. In the next step, C along with D crosses the bridge and as B is already at the other end of the bridge, B returns and this process takes 10 minutes as C and D go at a pace of D which is 8 minutes and B returns at his own pace which is 2 minutes total 10 minutes and in the last step A along with B crosses the bridge this takes 2 minutes so the least time taken by all four friends to cross the bridge is 15 minutes. Now as we have already solved a question of this type, try to solve this question and comment down the answer below. You are given two buckets of 3 liters and 5 liters capacity along with the tap. 
how would you collect exactly 4 liters of water so we have a 3 liter bucket and a 5 liter bucket fill up the 5 liter bucket and pour water into the empty 3 liter bucket until it gets filled when this bucket gets filled we have 2 liters of water in the 5 liter bucket and 3 liters of water in the 3 liter bucket pour out all this water that is in the 3 liter bucket and pour this 2 liters of water in the 3 liter bucket after this step there are 2 liters of water in 3 liter bucket and 5 liter bucket is empty now fill up the 5 liter bucket entirely with water and pour 1 liter which is left in the 3 liter bucket and the 5 liter bucket is left with 4 liters of water which is our final answer you have two identical ropes coated with oil to help them burn each rope takes exactly 60 minutes to burn all the way through so each rope takes 60 minutes to burn completely however the ropes do not burn at constant rates there are spots where they burn a little faster and spots where they burn a little slower but it always takes 60 minutes to burn completely the question is with a single matchstick to ignite the ropes how can you measure exactly 45 minutes let us assume this is one rope and this is the other one light up the matchstick and light one rope at both the ends and the other one at one end and douse the matchstick put off so when we observe the first rope it takes 30 minutes to burn completely and by the time the second rope burns half take the matchstick and light it again with the help of the rope which is already burning and light the other end of the rope so this entire process takes 15 minutes to burn completely by adding these two we measure 45 minutes of time which is our final answer thank you so guys if you find this video helpful hit the like button share and subscribe so that i will get to know someone has been benefited from this video and i'll make more videos on it